Check out this view right here, folks. Look at this. And if you're wondering why there's a big cannon right in front of me, well, right there, is because we are at Fort Pickens, folks. Now, Fort Pickens is probably one of the biggest tourist destinations here in Pensacola, but it also provides some of the best fishing opportunities here in Pensacola as well. I really love coming down here this time of year. God, that is a huge cannon, dude. Look at the size of this thing, man. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk right out there because look how flat the beach is. There is a lot of wind today, but anytime there's a north wind, it flattens out the beach. So if you look on the weather and you see north wind, it's a good time to go fishing. So we're gonna walk the beach and we're gonna sight fish and look for pompano, look for redfish, and hopefully hook up to something big from land. Look how beautiful this water is right here. It is as pretty as it's going to get. I'm just going to walk and we're going to look and see if we can find something to sight fish. We may uh, got a good chance of seeing some redfish today. I do believe. Maybe a pompano. Who knows? God, it's pretty. Guys, I see four nice fish, maybe five nice fish chilling right here in this crystal clear water. It's just a matter if I can reach them or not. I don't know if I can. A miracle to get these to bite, but we'll see. We got close. I'll make sure my drag is set properly. Ooh, he turned on it. Come on. Golly. He turned off of it. Dang it. Holy cow. There's no, there's six nice fish here. I thought that was five. There's actually six. Ooh, come on. Come on. There it is. There we go. That's a good shot. They're not real hungry. Let's put it that way. There's a big wad of fish coming down the beach, but there's no way for me to reach them unless I get out here in the water and do some wade fishing, all right? Unfortunately, that's gonna have to happen. And I still don't even know if then I'm gonna reach them. We'll see. Look how clear this water is, y'all. I'm gonna have to get so lucky to hit these fish because they're moving pretty fast. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got my phone in my pocket so I can't let that get wet. Bad gum, dude. All right. Well, that was a huge mistake. Those weren't redfish, they're all pompano. Every one of them. Every one of those are pompano. And I thought they were dang redfish. gum it. All right, well, we're gonna keep walking. You guys, see this uh, sandbar right here? So it's kind of deep right there. Then there's a shallow sandbar. On that shallow sandbar right now, I'm looking at probably 50 redfish and what looks to be a whole bunch of pompano mixed in with them. So I gotta wade out there and see if we can get them to bite. There's there's a ton of them. They're everywhere, but they're out of range. Huge water fish. Like probably 50 fish. Good gracious. And they're going the other direction fast. So do everything I can to hurry up and get to this sandbar. If I can get, I just want one cast on them, just to see, man. I'm 15 feet from being in range. I am almost here. Can't believe this. Come on, come on! I'm gonna make a good cast. That was an 
All right, cast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I think he's on it. There he is, I'm on, I'm on. Got him. No way, dude. We just sight fished one from the beach. Heck yes, dude. Let me get out here a little further where I can fight him. I want to get out on the sandbar. Oh my gosh. There's a huge sandbar right here. And so now I'm only standing in like half a foot of water. I can't believe that. Look how far I am from the beach. I just, <laughs> I spotted these guys from the beach. I can't believe it. Come on, darling. Does it get any better than this right here, folks? Look at this crystal clear water. It's a giant right here. I'm gonna have to walk back to the beach in order to catch him. Got my Slammer 4500. Y'all, this is the real test today. Try to walk him to shore. It's easier said than done here, guys. We're back on the beach. I know I talked a few videos back about my boat situation and me not getting a boat, but this right here, so much more rewarding. <laughs> it's not even close. Oh my gosh, guys. There's another skull coming down to the beach right now. There's like 50 of them in it. Almost here, almost here. Come on, baby. Look at this pretty girl. I'm gonna go get her. You ain't getting away from me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is freaking sweet, dude. How cool is that? Let's get her back in the water. There you go. There you go. See you, buddy. What a fish. Well, folks, that made the day worth it. And we're going to venture right back on out here and see if we can hook us another one. I still see a few. I don't see the big school, but they're definitely going to be around here somewhere. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. I think. I think. Let's see. I can't tell. I'm just going to have to work it slow off the bottom and see. Let's see. I can't tell. If it's them, they're uh, a heck of a lot spookier than, than what they were. Because I'm not... Definitely not getting bit. I see some now for sure. That should be right in them. That should be right in them. Come on. I'm on. I'm on again. I'm on again. There he is. Come here. Come on. Yes, sir. I told you. Let's get that hook set in him. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. No way, dude. Is that a small one? This may be a... Oh, he came off. No way, dude. That was a pompano. You got to be kidding me, bro. That was a freaking pompano. Oh, my gosh. I was wondering why he wasn't fighting. That was a dang pompano. You got to be kidding me. Hey, come on. He came off right there. So, guys, I tied on a little wacky jig right here little wiggler jig because I'm seeing a lot of pompano mixed in with these redfish and I've caught a redfish so I would absolutely love to catch a pompano and I hung a freaking pompano on that dang gulp shrimp. I missed him. Let me see if I can reach these. 
I don't know. I don't know if that was them or not. That may be. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. That's a pop, baby. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Come here, darling. I can't believe we got one. Oh my gosh, you are not going to believe what this is. I thought these were all pompano. Oh my goodness, they're sheep's head. I just caught a sheep's head. Oh my gosh, on an artificial lure, dude. Right here. It, look at this. Can you believe this? Look at that. It has been many, many moons since I've caught a sheep's head on an artificial lure. And these guys fooled the heck out of me because... The whole time, I thought it was pompano coming down the beach. And I'm like, dude, there's acres of pompano out here. <laughs> and it was sheep's head the whole time. I was like, that's why I can't get them to bite. So that was an awesome morning. Any time that I can go and do some sight fishing like that, bring it on. Because you know, that is my favorite thing to do. But we're going to do a little exploring around the fort. I'm going to show you some stuff that this fort has to offer. In case you're coming down here on vacation, first and foremost, check out the pier right there. And it is jam-packed today. And the reason that it's jam-packed is because this is sheep's head season, all right? They usually do catch a lot of sheep's head on that pier this time of year. But this is actually, this fort is actually at the pass. So this is Pensacola Pass. As you can see right across the way, that's the lighthouse. That's the Navy base. And so a lot of good fish to be caught in this area if you're coming down to Pensacola at certain times of year. You know, not all the time. But as you can see, I had a pretty good morning this morning just out there walking the beach which is a blast also guys if you're not into fishing there's a massive fort all right that goes around this entire property that you can go explore as you can see across the way there that's actually a cannon right there and there's a ton of people up there taking pictures and stuff like that. This is just a really cool, I think it costs like 15 bucks a day to come out here. And the beach is literally right there over this hill. So you're not only gonna get to explore this whole area and uh, get to see kind of the history throughout, but enjoy the beautiful weather, hopefully, and the beach right here next to it. Just one of the perks of living in Pensacola, I just walked right over the hill and there's the beach, okay? So I was right there. And here's the beach right on the other side. Such a beautiful place. And right out there is where I spent a majority of my time from the time I was probably 24 to 32 running fishing charters. Because that is the pass right there. <laughs> I don't fish it much anymore, but it was a massive part of my life for a while. There's also lots of uh, campsites out here. so. Lots of people booked this place to come camp. We actually had a campsite booked out here last year. Me and Ron and Melanie, Ron's wife, but bad weather came, we had to cancel it. We may do that again this year just because it's a really cool place to come and camp. You can fish and hike and explore. Tons of trails through here. So uh, I'll, a lot of times just to get my exercise, I'll come out here and walk just because there's so many good trails through here. Folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I am a licensed realtor here in the Pensacola area along the panhandle of Florida. So if you need any help with real estate, buying or selling a vacation home, hit me up. My information is in the description below. Other than that, folks, we will catch you next time.